Hello there. 100 times larger field of view than Hubble and one and a half million kilometers away from Earth. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, formerly the Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope, is a NASA's next-generation space observatory designed to replace Hubble. Scheduled to launch in late 2026, the Roman Telescope will operate from a quasi-halo orbit around the seconds on Earth Lagrange point L2, one and a half million kilometers away from Earth, just like James Webb Telescope. At this special place in space, gravitational force is balanced to keep objects in steady orbits, with very little assistance. Roman's barrel-like shape will help block out unwanted light from the Sun, Earth and Moon, and the spacecraft's distant location will help keep the instruments cool. The thermal stability of an observatory at L2 will provide a tenfold improvement beyond Hubble in much of the data Roman will gather. Function as a Hubble's wide-eyed cousin, the telescope's wide field of view will allow to generate never-before-seen big picture of the universe, which will help astronomers explore some of the greatest mysteries of the cosmos, including why the expansion of the universe seems to be accelerating. Roman Telescope has a primary mirror that is 2.4 meters in diameter, and it's the same size as the Hubble Telescope's mirror. It also has the same sensitivity as Hubble's primary mirror, but will only be one-fifth the weight, showcasing an advancement in telescope technology. It will have the sensitivity and resolution comparable to Hubble, but with a field of view 100 times larger, combining excellent image quality with a survey power. This means a single Roman image will hold the equivalent detail of 100 pictures from Hubble. As the primary instrument, the wide field instrument, Wi-Fi, will measure light from a billion galaxies over the course of the mission lifetime. It will perform a microlensing survey of the inner Milky Way to find thousands of exoplanets. When one star in the sky appears to pass nearly in front of another, the light rays of the background source star become bent due to the warped spacetime around the foreground star. This star is then a virtual magnifying glass, amplifying the brightness of the background source star. So astronomers refer to the foreground star as the lens star. The Wi-Fi is a 288 megapixel multi-band near-infrared camera, providing a sharpness of images comparable to that achieved by the Hubble Space Telescope over a 0.28 square degree field of view. The coronagraphic instrument CGI is a high contrast small field of view camera and spectrometer covering visible and near infrared wavelengths using novel starlight suppression technology. Astronomers use spectrometers to analyze distant objects and determine what elements and compounds are present. And the coronagraph instrument demonstrates technology that allows astronomers to directly image planets in orbit around other stars, which otherwise would be hidden by greatly reducing the glare from the whole star. The mission will focus on the dark energy and dark matter, exoplanets and a wide range of infrared astrophysics and planetary science topics. Its surveys include a large area, high latitude imaging and spectroscopic survey that enables high precision cosmological measurements with weak lensing and galaxy clustering, a time domain survey that enables discovery and light curve monitoring of thousands of type A supernovae, a time domain survey of the galactic bulge that enables discovery of thousands of exoplanets at one astronomical unit and larger separations via gravitational microlensing. These surveys will be designed with broad community input to maximize other science investigations that can be pursued with these enormous datasets. An additional generation observer program will enable a wide range of studies in astrophysics and planetary science. Under current plans, the Roman Space Telescope will have a primary mission lifetime of five years and has been designed to support a five-year extended mission. My name is Nancy Grace Roman and my role in Hubble was as program scientist and that means that I basically tried to sell the program. <laughs> did other things too, but my major part, uh, effort was trying to convince people that it was very well worth doing. <laughs>
Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and don't forget to check our other videos about telescopes.